Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Emma and I am the international officer um, for students that are uh, in Latin America at the University of Essex. I'm very excited to be able to talk to you about um, postgraduate study at the University of Essex. Um, so this is a very brief overview of what this session is going to cover. I'm going to talk to you for approximately 15 or 20 minutes um, and then hopefully be able to answer any questions that you've got. Um, so we'll go over why you might want to consider studying in the UK. Um, I'm sure you've had the opportunity to hear from lots of universities around the world. So, yes, I would like to just tell you why the UK is a very popular destination for students that are wanting to complete their uh, graduate studies in, in the UK. And then I'll talk a little bit about postgraduate studies specifically at the University of Essex. I'll briefly go over the application process, um, talk a little bit about scholarships, um, living expenses and tuition, and some of our entry requirements as well. Um, so these are really the key reasons why the UK is a popular destination. Um, most of our taught masters are one year in length. Um, most of our courses, they start in October and then they finish around the middle of September. So they're almost exactly one year. Um, when you compare that to the US, for example, where a lot of masters are two years, if you come over and study your masters in the UK, you can, you can complete your studies in, uh, in just one year. So we have um, certainly a reputation for the quality of, um, of our teaching, but also our research as well. So you can be sure that if you're coming over to study in the UK, you'll be taught by um, academics that are truly experts within, within their field of uh, research and their field of study. Increasingly, universities are placing more and more importance on student support, and you will find that lots of universities in the UK offer extensive support for students, particularly as lots of our universities uh, draw in lots of uh, students from all over the world so particularly for our international students there's an awful lot of support for you whether you're um, being offered support in your department so sort of academically su academically supported or whether that's emotional or well-being support um, we also every single university will have their own students union and they will provide advice and support to students so there's lots of different avenues that students can go to to get support at universities in the UK we have extremely high completion rates. So lots of our students that are starting our programs are going on to finish them within the time frame that they would expect. Um, we also have great employability as well. So universities, and um, I mean, particularly at Essex, we're placing more and more importance on employability. We understand that the reason the students are coming to university, particularly international students, they're investing in their future um, and their employability. So there's opportunities for students uh, whilst they're studying to get part time work, um, to get experience often within the department as, as um, carrying out research as well. So there's an awful lot of opportunities for students to earn money and uh, improve their employability whilst they're still studying. Um, it's a fantastic student experience as well. Uh, the UK, we're obviously, um, we're a small country. We're made up of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Um, and within those four nations, there are some wonderful cities, some great, uh, great cultural um, opportunities for students to explore as well. And then, of course, we're not we're not far from from mainland Europe. So there's an amazing opportunity to travel as well. I'm always, always incredibly jealous when I speak to our international students and they tell me about all the different countries and cities that they've been to visit. Um, very often cities and countries that I haven't even been to, even though it's been on my doorstep for most of my life. So it's an amazing opportunity to travel and explore um, wonderful cities and countries that really are within within very close proximity. Um, and of course, another key reason is the post-study work visa. So if you're coming over to complete your master's um, and you complete it successfully, then you can apply for this new, relatively new post-study work visa, which means that you can then stay in the UK and look for work for two years once you've completed your studies. So that's sort of a general overview of why the UK is particularly a popular destination for students that want to study their master's um, in the UK. 
So this is a little bit more specific to Essex. So Essex, um, we have over 300 different masters. So that's an awful lot of courses to choose from. Um, and we have three faculties. Across those three faculties, we have 21 academic departments. So there's an awful lot of subjects that you can um, that we that we offer at Essex. We also offer some integrated PhD options. So if you're thinking about studying a PhD, then there's a possibility that you could actually do an integrated program where you start doing your master's and then you go straight into a, into a PhD. We also offer some of our master's with a professional placement. So this is a really good opportunity if you're wanting to get sort of industry experience whilst you're studying. Um, the, the placement year is part of the program. So you would study your master's for a year and then go straight into do a professional placement once you finish. So that would mean that the master's takes two years. Um, some of our master's allow you to get two degrees um, in two years. So basically you would do uh, a master's um, at Essex and then you can go and do a master's at one of our partner universities. And that means that you're graduating with two, two master's in two years. Some of our programmes, we also offer a January start option. Um, so it's a small number and this is something that we've implemented over the last couple of years. Uh, so if you're wanting to start your uh, master's a bit earlier, most of our, I should say that most of our master's start in October, but the small number start in January. So if you wanted to start a bit earlier in January, that is an option for some of our master's. Um, and we also offer pre-masters so if you don't quite meet the academic entry requirements for some of our masters then completing a pre-masters um, is an option and equally if you don't quite meet the English language requirements then we do offer some pre-sessional English programs. Um, so I won't spend too long on this slide because there's an awful lot on it but I just wanted to highlight really the three faculties which is our faculty of social sciences, our faculty of humanities and our faculty of science and health and then as I mentioned across those three faculties we have all the wonderful um, departments that are that sit within each faculty. Something that's really great about Essex is we have a very interdisciplinary approach to our teaching. So depending on the program that you're studying, it often means that you can actually pick different modules or different classes um, across different departments. Um, generally with our masters, there's a little bit less flexibility and it is going to depend on, on the program that you're wanting to study. Um, programs particularly within the arts and humanities and some of the social sciences there is that um, flexibility and interdisciplinarity and really the opportunity for students to shape their masters around what they're interested in or what you're interested in um, and what is important to you. So these are our, some of our sort of recent uh, rankings and statistics that we're very proud of. I don't want to spend too long on this, um, but I just wanted to, I guess, highlight some of the some of the subject areas that you know Essex really is very very well known for. Um, we're, we're a university that's known for our social sciences, so you can see that from from the screen. Really, we're known for our politics, our international relations, our sociology and criminology, our linguistics as well, um, and of course our economics. Our human rights centre has a global reputation. So, if you're interested in um, a degree or a master, sorry, in human rights, then that really isn't Essex. Really, as a university, to um, to consider studying studying that at. Um, and of, there are various courses within our business school, which are which are well ranked and well recognised. Um, just my and um, guidance, I guess, when it comes to looking at rankings and faculties and which university is going to be the best one for you, um, is to focus on those subject specific rankings rather than the university's overall rankings, because you really want to focus on the when, especially when it comes to studying a master's, you really want to focus on. Um, the, the subject areas that a university is is really really strong for and well known for so yeah these are some of our as you can see on the screen there's some that we're very proud of okay so the application process if you're wanting to submit an application to study your master's at Essex it's a direct application form um, and it's an online application form and also it doesn't cost anything so um, that's the link that's on the on the screen there you can apply directly. Um, if you are a current Essex student, then there's, a, there's, there's even a fast track application. When you submit your application, you have three choices. So if you're interested in 
uh, three different subject or three sub sorry a subject area um, and there's three different courses sort of within that subject area you can apply for up to three courses so that's always something worth considering um, potentially as a backup or just to give yourself more more options um, once you've submitted your application you will then be able to have access to your uh, my Essex applicant portal where you will have your own postgraduate number and you can monitor the progress of your of your application and then you can respond to your application using your My Essex applicant portal. It's also what you would use to submit your um, accommodation application once you've made a decision about whether or not you want to study with us. Um, so in terms of documents that you need to apply, as international students, you need to submit your a personal statement. Your personal statement is really an opportunity for, for you to demonstrate your passion and your enthusiasm for the subject that you're applying to study and tell us why you want to study at the University of Essex. Um, if, if it's applicable, then this is where you would um, include your English language qualifications. Um, you would need to include your most recent academic transcript so if you've completed your bachelor's degree then please include that if you haven't completed then just your most recent um, some of our courses we require a cv or a resume and some of our courses we also require a reference the good news is that you don't need to submit all of this information when you when you submit the application as long as you have your personal statement um, your transcripts um, and you complete the online application form, then everything else can be requested retrospectively. So we can make offers on the basis that you provide us with your English language qualifications, for example, or on the basis that you provide us with a reference. So you don't necessarily need all of this information when you submit your application, um, particularly when it comes to English language tests. But there's much more information available online, which breaks down the application process. So please don't hesitate. Yeah, you can see this, the, um, the link that's in the, uh, on the bottom of this screen. I can also pop it in the chat at the end of this presentation. Um, so yes, I briefly touched on the personal statement already. Um, as I said, if you require a student visa, so as international students, then a personal statement will be required as part of your application. And it's really your opportunity to demonstrate your suitability and passion for the subject. Also, as international students, I mentioned um, why you know it's your, an opportunity to tell us why you've chosen your field of study, but also tell us why it is that you want to study in the UK. Um, there is a maximum, which I forgot to mention, which is 500 words. Um, so approximately that's about a sh like one page of paper. If there are any gaps in education or in your employment history, just tell, just, just fill in any gaps, let us know what those gaps um, or what, what it was that you were up to, you know, if you were traveling or volunteering or what, whatever the gaps might be, just um, acknowledge that and tell us and tell us what you were up to. So application deadlines, I mentioned that we have some January starts. Um, the deadline for our January course start, start, start dates are approaching. Um, some courses are even closed already. So some departments have closed their application, as you can see there on the screen, but we are still accepting applications for courses for psychology, law, economics, and our Edge Hotel School. Um, but that deadline, as I say, it's about just over a month away if you're wanting to apply for the January 2023 start. Um, we are open for applications for October 2023. So if you're wanting to apply to start this time next year, applications are open. Um, and, and, and yeah, we're ready to receive applications in terms of when the deadline for those applications, that will be confirmed. That hasn't yet been confirmed, but it's likely to be the middle to the start of summer so yeah around around august 2023 is when that is when the deadline will be for october 2023 start just take into consideration into consideration if there are any funding application deadlines um, and be aware that there are some course specific deadlines specifically for our school of health and social care and our school of rehabilitation and exercise science um, a tip really is as soon as you're ready, submit your application. It's not going to do you any harm to um, apply earlier. Um, so as soon as you're ready, submit that application. And like I said, you don't necessarily have to have all your documents ready in order to, to apply. You can submit your application before, um, before you have your English language test, for example, and before you have a reference. 
Okay, so um, a little bit about Essex um, and the university and our location. Um, at Essex, we've got three campuses. Our main campus is in Colchester. Um, our second campus is in Southend. And then our third campus is in Loughton, which is where our East 15 acting school is and where most of our East 15 courses are taught. Um, something that I love about um Oh, I just noticed that there was a question um, asking how much the application would cost and it doesn't cost anything. There's no fee whatsoever to submit your application for a postgraduate course at Essex. So the, the application uh, fee is zero. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, the thing I love about our location is our proximity to London. With it, with for all three campuses, you can be in the city within an hour, which, in my opinion, is the perfect distance. It's close enough if you want to get into the city, but you notice a big difference in living costs just being slightly outside the city. Um, there are six airports within two hours, so uh, whether or not you're going to be getting flights uh, back home um, or if you're wanting to get much shorter flights across to Europe, um, whichever, whichever the case may be, there are lots and lots of airports for you to choose from. So a fun fact about Colchester, it is the UK's oldest recorded uh, town. So we have some really beautiful Roman architecture and Roman walls around, around the city. And then, of course, there's much more modern buildings and mod modern architecture. We have some great art galleries. We have some great music venues. There's some great restaurants and sort of a nightlife as well in, in Colchester. So it's a real interesting blend of, um, of that historical aspect with, with much more modern um, modern buildings and architecture. So in the UK, we're obviously not known for our glorious sunshine and our beautiful weather, unfortunately, but where we're located in the southeast of the UK, you can see on the map there, we do actually have some of the UK's best weather. And the summer that we've just had was a crazy summer. Um, it was a really, really beautifully hot summer to the point where um, we go the other way and we start complaining that it's too hot when when the sun is 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 too strong but yeah where we're located there we do have some really beautiful weather and we're surrounded by some beautiful countryside we're close to the city we're also close to the beach um, so if you do have crazy hot summers then we're not too far from the coast either which is a good mix of everything um, so that's a picture of our Colchester campus. I'm, I realise I'm running out of time a little bit, so I'll just tell you um, a little bit about the Colchester area. So as I mentioned, it's the oldest city. We have one of my favourite places in Colchester is the castle itself. Um, we've got an amazing zoo, which is one of the largest in Europe. We've got over 260 animal species. Um, and as I said, beautiful countryside surrounded by uh, coastline and parks and also restaurants from all over the world. I'm a big foodie and I love all the restaurants in uh, Colchester. So in terms of accommodation, we have lots of different options depending on your preferences. Almost all of our accommodation options are single occupancy. Um, and then some will have en suite and some will have shared bathroom facilities. Um, most of our accommodation in the UK is self-catered and certainly at Essex, you, uh, we don't have meal plans. So you will have a shared communal kitchen, which you'll share with your new flatmates um, and you can do your own cooking. Or, of course, you can go out and buy food on one of the many restaurants or cafes that are located on uh, campus. Um, so this is our South End campus, which I'll just explain very briefly some of our health and social care courses some of our business uh, courses and um some of our east 15 acting courses are taught in south end it's a much smaller campus it doesn't have quite the same sort of traditional campus feel that colchester does um it has much more of an urban feel um but yes it's it's it, one of the benefits is that it's right by the seaside um it has that city center feel there's lots of shopping there's direct links, um, very easy links to get from the city to, to London. Um, and it does also have its own airport as well. So in terms of student life, because there's so much to be getting involved with outside of the classroom as well, there are over 160 different sports clubs and societies. On our Colchester campus, there's amazing sports facilities. We've got an incredible sports arena, which has fantastic basketball and volleyball facilities. We've got restaurants, cafes, bars, restaurants, cinemas theatres climbing walls all on campus um and 
as I mentioned, we guarantee accommodation. I've talked a little bit about student support and I've also talked a little bit about employability. So I think I'm going to finish on my favourite thing about the about the university, which is our global community. It really is the world in one place. Um, the thing I love most about Essex is the fact that almost 40% of our students are from outside of the UK. So it's an incredible opportunity for students to meet people that are from all over the world. So it's an amazing opportunity to start networking, to start building those contacts, um, making friends, living, studying with people and learning from people as well. Our academics are, are all from all over the world as well. Um, so it's just an amazing opportunity to expand that global network. So I will skip to the end and just have this screen on which is um the email address i didn't have much time to talk about entry requirements or scholarships but i'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have so please um if i don't get around to answering them now to um to send an email to that email address that's on your uh on your screen um so for the there's a question about whether you need to have a GMAT score. No, you don't need to. Um, in terms of entry requirements, let me just go to that because there's another question about entry requirements. Um, so these are our academic entry requirements here. So students um, from Peru for our postgraduate talk masters will consider applicants with 12 out of 20 so some courses might have slightly higher entry requirements um, and some courses might have very specific or module specific requirements but the good thing about uk universities we're very transparent in terms of what we need from our students and you will find this information on all of our web pages but if you have a more specific question about a particular program please just get in contact with me and i can take a look at that for you um, there is a question about the pre-sessional English. Uh, Juliana, if you wanted to send me an email, I'm going to put my email address in the chat and then I will send you a link to that so I can talk to you about that in more detail. I think that would be the quickest thing because I'm conscious that I Great. only have a few minutes Great. Left. Bien, Juliana. I think, well, Patricia, human resource management. <laughs> Yeah, so Patricia, no, you don't need to do a GMAT score. Um, there's, that's not an additional qualification that you will need to, to take or sit. Um, as I said, most courses we will consider 12 out of 20. Like I said, there are for some of our programs there are subject specific requirements, so that's one that I would have to, um, I'd have to take a look at in more detail. But if again, if you want, I'll pop up the email address on the screen. So if um you wanted to email me about that particular subject course requirement then i can of course find that information out for you 